Over the weekend, I spent quite a bit of time in Battlefield 5 playing with a weapon that, because of its category, I didn't think I'd really care that much for. The Browning Machine Gun. It's the support class's newest MMG, and that means plenty of bipod and prone gameplay. It's really not my usual style. That said, in playing with the gun and ranking it up, it is a new weapon, of course I'm going to use it, I've actually discovered that, despite me still not really liking the style of gameplay that it actually promotes, it is a very effective weapon when you specialise it correctly through the upgrade tree, and we're going to talk about that in this video today. Also, stick around to the end of the video because I'm starting to sell some merchandise, and I want to show you guys our very first design. Okay then, so first of all, you can set up the Browning in one of two very effective ways. And based on the title of this video, I think you can pretty much tell which of the two setups that I've gone for. Now, if you pick a left, right, right, right setup for the specialization tree, that's up there on the screen for you now, for the Browning, then you have the most hideously accurate machine gun that you can possibly imagine. And the only thing really stopping you from taking out almost anyone on the map is the fact that the maximum optical zoom that you can apply to an MMG is a two-time zoom, and that's with the AA sights. That limitation alone is pretty much the only thing stopping the Browning from being just the complete winner of Battlefield 5 weapons at the moment. Level 1 on the tree, picking the left-hand side, you start with Recoil Buffer. That reduces your vertical recoil. Level 2, we move over to the right-hand side and we apply Improved Bipod. That increases the accuracy of the Browning whilst the Bipod is deployed. Level 3, we're sticking with the right-hand side, we can't switch over here, and this time we're applying Ported Barrel. This reduces the horizontal recoil of the Browning. And then finally, level 4, you pick High Velocity Bullets option on the right-hand side to increase the bullet velocity of the Browning. That moves it up from an already very fast 800 meters a second to 910 meters per second. Doing that makes it the weapon with the fastest bullet velocity in the entire game. And considering on average that the furthest away from an objective you're really considering proning down and shooting someone from is probably about 150 to 200 meters at the furthest, those bullets are going to connect with any players they hit near instantaneously. The specializations applied to my Browning, they reduce the recoil, they improve its accuracy whilst it's deployed, and they improve its accuracy at range due to that increased bullet velocity. This thing is ridiculously powerful. It makes for a really good offensive or defensive weapon, provided you get yourself in enough cover to sustain your fire without being shot at. Getting behind cover to deploy the bipod or proning down on the ground, that still slows you down enough that if you were being watched by an enemy sniper, then you'd be shot relatively quickly, but if the opportunity arises for you to push onto an objective area and lay down some sustained fire towards enemy positions, you're going to be suppressing the hell out of them before they even know what's happened, and likely you're going to be killing plenty of those players as well. Now, of course, there are fairly obvious drawbacks to using an MMG that still very much apply to this brand new Browning. Just because it's a new weapon, that doesn't mean it's treated really any differently from the other MMGs. I've mentioned the danger of easily being able to be hit by enemy players due to the fact that most of the time whilst you're using this thing, you are going to be stationary. That's simply something you cannot get away from when using MMGs in this game. There's also the much slower rate of fire to consider compared to other MMGs that, that you can choose. The bullets you're firing, they might be extremely accurate, but the gap between each bullet being fired is much greater than something like the MG42, for example. And this means at longer ranges, when you are doing minimum damage, and I believe that is 19 minimum damage, it becomes harder to hit your target. And then the difficulty increases even further if the target is moving around as well. That's why I opted to use the high velocity bullets at level 4 over the chrome lining which is on the other side of the tree. That would have slowed down my overheat time by 33% which is still a good option but high velocity rounds they're going to get to the target faster and they might well finish off that player with a shot or two less than if I wasn't using high velocity bullets. 
that's really, really important with MMGs because of just how vulnerable you can be when you're firing them. They make a big noise, their muzzle flash is pretty strong, and you're almost tied to that bipod-prone gameplay style, so there is always that chance that you're going to be picked off by a sniper or somebody with a semi-automatic rifle from quite a distance. Now, the other side to the Browning's upgrade tree still offers you a really viable playstyle change-up, but to me, it's nowhere near as attractive compared to the laser-accurate machine gun that you can build over on the other side of the tree. Level 1, that gives you quick reload on the right-hand side, but with 250 rounds on a belt before you even have to think about reloading this weapon, that feels like a bit of a wasted option in my opinion. Level 2, going over to the left-hand side, that gives you Light Bolt, and that increases the rate of fire of the Browning from 600 to 670 rounds per minute. Now, this is quite a good upgrade option, actually. Earlier I was talking about the fact that at range, there's a greater distance between each bullet being fired, so increasing the rate of fire is really going to help you with that long-range shooting. It's just a little bit of a shame that it's locked into level 2, because from here, you're only able to pick the same side left option again at level 3. And at level 3, you have flashless propellant, and that removes the muzzle flash from your weapon. It sounds like an attractive option to take, a way to keep yourself a little bit more low profile as an MMG player, but really, I think people know the maps well enough now in Battlefield 5 to kind of pick out the more obvious MMG spots, and players are going to be checking those quite regularly, so... A little bit like level 1, this kind of feels like a wasted option. And then, as we spoke about earlier, at level 4, you can choose either side, but the left option is chrome lining. That slows down your overheat time by 33%. It allows you to fire more shots before the gun gets too hot. It's a good option to pair with that increased rate of fire at level 2. You essentially get a much more lethal browning in terms of stopping power, but you trade off the massive boost in accuracy, so in my opinion, it's not quite worth it. As I said earlier, despite the fact that I'm not a massive fan of the MMG playstyle in Battlefield 5, there is absolutely no denying the potential of this new Browning machine gun, so if you are an MMG fan, then make sure you give the super accurate loadout a try. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and just enjoy deleting people off the map, I guess. Now, earlier on in the video, I mentioned merchandise, and so I want to take a little bit of time to really discuss and, and talk about what's going to happen. If you've been a fan of my channel for quite some time, or even if you've only joined over the last few months, you're going to have noticed that I've never really done merchandise before, and there's a couple of good reasons for that. First of all, I didn't really understand the process of how this really worked for different YouTube channels, so over the last couple of months, I've done some research into different companies that provide these merchandise services and I've had a look at other successful YouTubers that have gone into the merchandise side of things. And secondly, I wanted to make sure that anything that I put out there with my brand on it is going to be high quality and quite visually appealing. I take pride here on my channel in editing my videos to the best quality that I can. I've got some professional channel artwork designed, my thumbnail style that's made by a professional graphics designer. So all of that I take pride in, so I wanted to make sure that that same level of quality, and if possible, maybe even higher quality, could move through into any merch that I sold. So I think now I'm at the point where I'm ready to release my first design, and I've worked with a professional graphics designer, Paul Tysel, to produce a few different designs that I'm going to be releasing over the next couple of months as we close in on Christmas. Now this first design is called Born to Shill and I really, really like this one. It's inspired by the famous Vietnam War movie called Full Metal Jacket, so I'm sure a lot of you are going to recognise that design, but we switched up the art style a bit, it's a lot more vibrant in colour, and we found a way to include my brand in a subtle way, and of course we played into the meme as well that I'm a bit of a shill. I think it's a great design, and I think it's really high quality as well. The resolution that Tysel has produced it at means that when it's printed, it's going to be a really solid look on that t-shirt. The design is actually out now, and it's on sale. We've had quite a few sales already. It's available worldwide on my brand new Teespring store, and I've got it up as a shirt as well as a sweatshirt, and it's available in quite a few different colours. So. 
If you want to check these out or maybe you want to buy one, then you can head over to bit.ly forward slash Westy shop. That's linked in the description and you can pick from those different colors and there's all the different sizes available as well. As I said, shipping is available worldwide. It may vary depending on where you live, but Teespring will send it pretty much anywhere. That's one of the reasons that I chose them to do all of this. They've got good shipping options in lots of different places, but yeah, that's the first design, Born to Shill. As I said, I think it's a really good design and I hope you guys like it too. I hope you're in on the meme. The design will be available until the 17th of November and then I'm going to take it down and it will be replaced by my second design which I'll show off in a future video on the day that it goes up on the website. And the reason for taking them down and replacing them is basically so that I'm only ever selling one design at once in this first stage. That keeps things simple for me and simple for you guys as well. I can let you guys know when there's a new design going live and if you want to get that design then you can go and get it. Basically, it just takes the confusion out of having multiple designs live at the same time. If you do end up buying this design or any of the others that I put up on sale in the future, then firstly, just let me say a massive thank you because it's a really great way to directly support my channel and, and the work that I do. And secondly, can you send me some pictures of you wearing it on Twitter? That would be great. My profile is linked in the description. That way I can actually personally thank you rather than just saying it in a video for supporting me and the channel and also I can retweet the pictures and I can show off just how awesome the design looks. So yeah, if you get one, send me a picture. I'd love to say thank you to you properly. But yeah, that about wraps it up for today. Thanks very much for watching this video and let me know what you think of the Browning machine gun down below in the comments. Make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed the video and as always, the dislike button is there if you didn't enjoy it. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.